What's up guys, Tarvin here from KL Gadget TV. Now, most of you know that we are transitioning into RFID toll payment. So that's where the government wants to remove smart tags and replace it with RFID stickers that we stick on our cars. Now, it just so happens that my colleague who is behind the camera is one of the first few people in Malaysia to receive this RFID tag. So with that guys, we decided that we should do a little test on these RFID stickers and see how good they are. And we actually went to a few different tolls to try this system out. So guys, as you can see here, this is the RFID tag that the toll will scan and charge you uh, based on your Touch & Go app. So when you go to a fitment center, the technicians will actually wipe down your headlamps and stick this sticker for you in order the, to ensure that there's no dust or dirt behind the sticker. Now, this sticker does look kind of uh, not really that great when you compare to other countries, especially like in Taiwan. But nevertheless, the idea is the technology is going to bring convenience to us. So with that, guys, let's check it out in our test. Alright guys, so we are approaching a toll here and this toll does have an RFID boot. So we're going to pass by the RFID boot at maybe about 40 kilometers per hour just to test out how smooth this system is. Let's try to go through at about 40 to 30 kilometers per hour. Okay, I'm going to bring the speed down to... Let's try 40 for now. Alright, there you go. So roughly at about 35 to 40 kilometers per hour, uh, the thing, the sensor does detect the RFID tag on the car. But it is a bit scary because the barrier doesn't open up as fast as I expected it to be. So that's why if you realize there was a little break there that I did. Uh, but other than that, I think maybe we should try it one more time and let's have some confidence this time when passing by the toll. All right, guys, second test now. So this is the test that we're going to have a little bit more confidence going through this toll. So. Uh, just to play it safe, maybe we'll go through the toll at 30 kilometers per hour. All right, we are approaching the RFID lane. So now we are at about yeah 30 to 40 kilometers. Let's hope for the best. Oh, it didn't work. Looks like we're gonna have to reverse, guys. Okay, let's go back a bit more. Does it work? No. It doesn't work. Hmm, that's odd. Oh, there you go, go. Oh, okay, there we go, finally. So we have to move quite a bit back, so I would assume because the sensor is there. And yeah, now we've gone through. Alright, so at about 30 kilometers per hour, that was odd. 30 kilometers per hour, the barrier did not open for us. So now I am thinking whether it is, depending on the toll, maybe there's an issue with some of these RFID sensors out there. Alright guys, so just now we were on the Kersas Highway. Right now we have decided to change the highway because we wanted to test if all the tolls were uh, well, slightly inconsistent in my opinion. So right now we are on the LDP uh, Highway and we are approaching the, the toll. So again, uh, right now, so I'm thinking we will go at about 30 kilometers per hour. Which I think is uh, acceptable for even a smart tag. So I'm gonna go drop the speed down a bit more. Hey, there you go, wow! So at 30, there wasn't an issue at all. On the LDP toll, there was no issue at all. Well, that was quite interesting, wasn't it? Alright guys, so for the final test, we are actually on the Sprint Highway right now, and the Sprint Highway also has a RFID toll. So we realized that because on the Kasas Highway, the sensor wasn't very accurate, uh, especially when we are going at different types of speed. But we realized on the LDP, we went to we went about 30 to 35 kilometers per hour, and it worked. So right now, we want to test on the Sprint Highway with 40 kilometers per hour. So fingers crossed. Okay, we are at 40. Oops, there you go. It doesn't really work very well. Okay, so again. So that was a bit scary. <laughs> Right, so we went through at 40 kilometers per hour and it looks like it didn't really detect very well. So I'm assuming that maybe what is safe is probably 30 kilometers per hour or you want to be even safer then maybe best is to stick it to 20 kilometers per hour. Follow the smart track uh, recommended speed when going through a toll uh, until they probably improve the system and upgrade the system. So once you get the RFID tag fitted into your car, 
it will take roughly about 24 hours before you can start using the RFID. However, as you can see here, our colleague managed to get it activated within just a couple of hours. And once you get it activated, if you head over to your Touch & Go app, the RFID section will activate as you can see here for yourself. So this is the car of our colleague and if you click that and enter into it, you can actually see the history of what you have made payments to. So for example here, we uh, while we were travelling just now, we could see that we made some payments at the Damansara toll and the payment was 2 ringgit. Now it will show you your 5 latest transaction but of course it will save up to 30 days of transaction history. So you can change the options here to show you your end date and your start date. So guys, there you have it. That was the quick test of the RFID toll payment system. Now, as you see for yourself, there is still some issues that they still need to work out, especially on the Kursas Highway. As the tolls were not so accurate, Wells on the LDP was pretty smooth and we managed to get through the toll at about 30 to 35 kilometers per hour and similar on the Sprint Highway as well. Now, although there are some issues and some bugs with the system, it is definitely still a much better alternative than carrying around a smart tag in your car because as you know for yourself, smart tag is a very easy target for theft. Whereas on the RFID sticker, it's just a sticker and if someone were to steal this sticker, which we hope they don't, it will be much cheaper to replace compared to a smart tag. Guys, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because we take out videos like this every single week. And of course, guys, I will see you in the next video.